Ever wondered how different types of motorcycle engines work? Well, you've come to the right place. Today we're diving headfirst into the captivating world of motorcycle engines. Just like the heart is to the human body, the engine is to a motorcycle. It's what gives it power, performance, and that distinctive roar that we all love. There's a myriad of engine types out there, each with its own unique characteristics and features. From the simplicity of a single cylinder engine to the balance and smoothness of a parallel twin, to the power and torque of a V-twin, and the speed and high performance of an inline four. Each engine type has its own story, its own benefits, and its own drawbacks. But don't worry, we're going to break it all down for you one engine at a time in a way that's easy to understand and interesting to learn. So buckle up and stay tuned to learn more about the fascinating world of motorcycle engines. First on our list, the single cylinder engine. Diving headfirst into our exploration of motorcycle engines, we find ourselves in the realm of the single cylinder engine. A single cylinder engine, as the name suggests, is an engine with one cylinder and piston in its combustion chamber. The working principle of a single cylinder engine is pretty straightforward. The single piston moves up and down in the cylinder. When the piston moves down, it creates a vacuum, drawing in a mixture of fuel and air. As the piston moves back up, it compresses this mixture. A spark from the spark plug then ignites the fuel-air mix, creating an explosion that pushes the piston down again. This downward movement turns the engine's crankshaft, which ultimately drives the motorcycle's wheels. Now, every type of engine has its own set of advantages and disadvantages, and single-cylinder engines are no different. So let's talk about why someone might choose a single-cylinder engine. One of the biggest advantages is simplicity. With fewer parts, single-cylinder engines are easier and cheaper to maintain and repair. They're also lightweight, which can make a motorcycle easier to handle, especially for new riders. Plus, the thump of a single-cylinder engine has a certain charm that's hard to resist. On the flip side, single-cylinder engines do have their drawbacks. They tend to vibrate more, which can lead to rider fatigue on long trips. They also typically have less power than multi-cylinder engines. This isn't necessarily a problem for city riding or off-roading, but it can be a limitation on the highway. Despite these potential drawbacks, the simplicity and charm of single-cylinder engines have long made them a favorite among motorcycle enthusiasts. They're the heart of many classic and off-road bikes, and they continue to win hearts with their straightforward operation and unique character. The simplicity of single-cylinder engines has long made them a favorite among motorcycle enthusiasts. Next up, the parallel twin engine. Before we dive into the intricacies of this type of engine, let's get a basic understanding. A parallel twin engine consists of two cylinders side by side, hence the term parallel. The pistons move up and down in unison, which is why it's also known as a straight two engine. Now let's talk about how it works. The parallel twin engine operates on a four-stroke cycle, intake, compression, combustion, and exhaust. During the intake stroke, the pistons move down as the intake valves open to let in air and fuel. The pistons then move up, compressing the air-fuel mixture. The spark plugs ignite this mixture, causing combustion and forcing the pistons down. Finally, during the exhaust stroke, the pistons move up again, pushing out the exhaust gases through the open exhaust valves. The cycle then repeats. One of the key advantages of a parallel twin engine is its simplicity. It's easier to manufacture and maintain compared to other types of engines. It also offers a good balance of power and torque, making it suitable for a wide range of motorcycles. Another advantage is its smooth operation. The firing order of a parallel twin engine reduces vibration, leading to a smoother ride. This is especially beneficial for long-distance riders who spend hours on the road. Plus, the compact design of a parallel twin engine makes it perfect for smaller motorcycles without compromising on power. However, like every engine type, the parallel twin has its disadvantages. One of the main ones is that it can get hotter than other engine types due to the close proximity of the cylinders. This can lead to overheating if not properly managed. Additionally, while they offer a good balance of power and torque, Parallel twin engines may not deliver the high-end power that some riders crave. In conclusion, parallel twin engines are a great choice for those who want a smooth, balanced ride. They offer a unique blend of power and smoothness, making them a popular choice for many motorcycle models. 
Parallel twin engines offer a unique balance of power and smoothness. Now let's dive into the world of V-twin engines. Picture two cylinders arranged in a V-shape, hence the name V-twin. This configuration is a favorite among motorcycle manufacturers, particularly those producing cruisers and touring bikes. But what makes this setup so popular? It's all about balance, power, and that distinctive V-twin rumble. In a V-twin engine, the piston's firing sequence is staggered. This results in an uneven or loping power delivery that gives these engines their unique character. It's this loping rhythm that produces the distinctive V-twin sound, a deep, throaty rumble that's music to the ears of many motorcycle enthusiasts. This engine configuration also offers excellent balance. The V-shape allows the engine's weight to be distributed more evenly across the bike, improving stability and handling. This is particularly beneficial on long rides, where rider comfort is paramount. The V-twin engine is not without its drawbacks, however. One of the main disadvantages is heat. With the cylinders positioned close together, heat dissipation can be a challenge. This can lead to overheating problems, particularly in stop-and-go city traffic. Another potential downside is maintenance. V-twin engines tend to be more complex than their single-cylinder counterparts, which can make repairs more challenging and costly. However, for many riders, the benefits of this engine type far outweigh these potential drawbacks. V-twin engines are known for their low-end torque, making them ideal for city riding and short trips. They also provide a smooth power delivery, making them a popular choice for long-distance touring. And of course, there's that unmistakable V-twin sound, a deep, throaty rumble that's as much a part of the riding experience as the wind in your face. In conclusion, V-twin engines offer a unique combination of power, balance, and character. They may not be for everyone, but for those who appreciate their distinct qualities, there's simply no substitute. V-twin engines, with their distinct rumble and power delivery, have a dedicated fan base. Uh, finally, we reach the inline-4 engine. This engine type is a marvel of engineering, with its four cylinders arranged in a straight line along the crankcase. Let's dive into the nitty-gritty of how this engine works. The inline-4 engine features a four-stroke combustion cycle, intake, compression, power, and exhaust. In this mechanism, each cylinder fires once for every two rotations of the crankshaft. This results in a smooth, continuous power delivery that's hard to beat. One of the significant advantages of the inline-4 engine is its balance. The configuration of the cylinders cancels out the primary forces, leading to less vibration and hence an incredibly smooth ride. It's almost like gliding on air. This engine type also provides a high power output, which is why it's commonly found in sport and racing motorcycles. However, every rose has its thorn. The inline-4 engine is not without its downsides. Firstly, its size. Due to the linear arrangement of cylinders, these engines tend to be wider. This can make the motorcycle bulkier and a bit challenging to maneuver, especially in tight traffic. Also, they can run a bit hotter due to the close proximity of the cylinders. Despite these drawbacks, the inline-4 engine holds its ground. It's the engine of choice for those who crave speed and a smooth ride. It's the epitome of high performance in motorcycle engines. Inline-4 engines are the choice of speed enthusiasts, providing high performance and smooth operation. So, we've traveled through the world of motorcycle engines today. From the simplicity and affordability of the single-cylinder engines, the balanced performance of parallel twins, the distinctive rumble of V-twins, to the smooth and powerful operation of inline-4s, Every engine has its unique charm and purpose. Understanding these engines not only fuels our fascination, but also helps us appreciate the engineering marvel that is the motorcycle. Until next time, keep your engines revving.